The key ingredients in the success of Kambi Moto is one, the conceptualization of the approach. I think long before we got on board, there were big brains that went out and looked at how a slum upgrading approach can be participatory. I think that was the first successful approach to it. I mean, the first successful step, successful step in uh, putting Kambi Moto down. So the conceptualization of the process was really good. Um, and if I, I get it right, again, this is based on agitation for rights of people, right to life in the city for the urban poor, and then how that can be translated into tangibles that people can enjoy, even as they discuss rights, because rights can be arbitrary. So that conceptualization is a key ingredient, the background thinking of how that can be done. Then the other approach is, I mean, or rather the other uh, ingredient that worked or sort of like played out in Kambimoto was just to start off with, uh, starting off with uh, easy wins. Easy wins in the sense that if you look at the way Kambimoto was done, it never focused on grand achievements. It just focused on very winnable things, in the sense that the first thing you see us doing is a single house. No slum upgrading project has ever started with a single house. They want to roll out many houses. But in Kabimoto, when we broke ground, it was a single house that expanded to 34. In fact, I remember when we dug the foundation, we just dug foundation for one house, moved to two, and then rolled out to 34. Because our understanding was that if you can demonstrate that it's doable, people will come on board. But if you roll out a grand idea that can never fit into people's mind, it's difficult to realize it. So first demonstrate the achievements, and then from the achievements expand to cover a wider area. So that's a key ingredient, just focusing on, on, on what is easy to win. And then the other beauty with the approach in Kambimoto was just having the right team at the right time. And I'm saying this because most of us went into this program without any prejudice, in the sense that we had not gone through any other upgrading program, but wanted to make this the best that we could get. And uh, that learning process in itself was good because it had a lot of room for corrections within our fixed minds. So we were very malleable. We could change a lot of things along the way. And then, of course, we want to say uh, a big hands up to the community. I think the community really took this because a lot of the pressures that came up through the process was the community that was absorbing them. So the community really took it in pretty well and they were receptive of the program. So I would say it was again the imprinting of having the right community to do this with.